Yeah, I can't believe he was smoking in the lab, like. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good afternoon now. Just wanted to check in and welcome you guys back to another vlog. So if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. My name is Kay. I am a flight attendant, um, entrepreneur, and just wanted to share my journeys with you all. So make sure you subscribe because I'll be seeing y'all trying to be subscribing. So we have a little bone to pick. But anywho, nonetheless, welcome to my channel. So I'm currently at the airport. I am in Detroit, Michigan. Today is Tuesday. I got into Minneapolis on Sunday night, Sunday evening, um, because my reserve bucket started on Monday. I was sitting a three-day reserve bucket. The first day I didn't get called, and then later that day I got assigned a two-day trip. So that's currently what I'm on now. This trip is a really easy trip. I'm really excited. Um, two days are really my favorite because you just kind of get the job done and go back home. Not too many layovers and the hours are really good but one thing about commuting is that you always lose like part of your day off because you are commuting on your day off so sunday was my day off but i had to commute into base because my reserve period started at 9 a.m so you have to be in base by that time and from where i live there's no flights that comes in like the morning of so you always have to commute in the day before. I'm only working one flight today, which is amazing. My first flight was a deadhead from base to Detroit, and then we go from Detroit to New York. So I'm so excited about that. I may try to do something once I get there, but yeah, you know, I don't know what's in the stars. I barely got any sleep last night. I don't think I ended up going to sleep till like one. And I had to report at 8 a.m., so it I was like really tired. But good thing we only have one flight, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Flight attendant, she's cool. Her roller bag actually broke, like her wheel stopped working, so we end up having to go to the crew outfitter store so that she can um, get her wheels replaced, which is pretty cool because I didn't know that they even do that. So if your luggage ever breaks, just find like the crew store and they can replace it for you. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> but these are better wheels. They look good. <laughs> you don't have the ones with the lights, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you do, but you're not allowed to use them. <laughs> oh. Okay, go hop curves again, girl. This is what I've been drinking like lately because I've kind of been burnt out on the coffee. So if y'all have any drink recommendations, drop them down below because your girl is looking for a new drink. Um, I've tried the ice white mocha with vanilla sweet cream foam, kind of burnt out of that. I also tried the iced chai tea latte with pumpkin cream cold foam in the fall time. That was really good, but I'm kind of tired of that too. So I've just been drinking these refreshers give me some recommendations and i will definitely try it so right now i'm just going to check in on my flight see like how many passengers we have 
um, what kind of service we're doing because the service depends on the miles so just look over my announcements and I like the company phone because you can just pull up the flight and it will show you the customers it will show you the miles um, pretty much everything that you need to know for that flight it just kind of helps you get prepared ahead of time and be as prepared as you can for when it's time for the actual flight so I think we have about 38 passengers which is good because usually the max is like 76 it tells me who's in first class and I am serving first class on the 900 today um, so I already have my announcements and all that ready I have 10 people in first class out of 12 unless they upgrade some people which they usually do I went to get some food, right? And I didn't want to go too far because I just like to stay close to the gate. Whenever Passengers of your boarding pass says Comfort Plus. Whenever we have a sit. So I found this place that had chicken noodle soup. I figured I'll just get that because it's usually my go-to soup. I think my body is still going through a little bit of anxiety. Because I remember on my last vlog, um, I had got sick from flying so I think just me having to fly again this is my first time flying since that happened so I think just that happening my body is a little is a little unsettled so I figured I'll just get some soup it's just something light on my stomach so tell me why I'm walking right I get to where I'm sitting now and I look down and the soup is leaking everywhere I'm walking a good five minutes with this soup and ain't nobody said nothing whole bag dripping and everything like this ain't nobody said nothing passengers of your boarding pass says me Currently on board our flight. Um, we have about 20 minutes or so until boarding. And just put my bags up and I'm gonna do some pre-flighting and get my first class ready for
test, test. Hey y'all, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but just finished service. Um, about to land in New York. So, just giving y'all a little update. Just made it to Syracuse. I think that's how you say it. Syracuse, New York. The sucky part is we have a early van time of 5 a.m. So we only have about a 11 hour layover. I did want to check out this restaurant, but me and my other flight attendant, Jennifer, we are planning to get some food. So I'm not sure where we're going to end up. I actually got picked up for this flight. I mean, I actually got picked up for this trip midway. So let me tell y'all what happened. So the crew, they were already together. Like they already know each other. And today is my first day meeting them because I replaced one of the other people that was on the trip with them. I don't know what day they're on, but I'm on day one. They are on, they are on day like three or four. So what happened was yesterday they were in flight and Somebody went into the lab and started vaping. So mind you, when we're doing our, our announcements, we say like, no e-cigarettes, none of that in the laboratory, whatever. So the smoke alarm goes off and they end up having to divert to another place to get this passenger off because he was violating the rules and the smoke alarm went off, causing them to have to divert. The other person dropped from the trip. I end up taking their spot on the trip. So um, tomorrow is our last day and I'm going home. I can't believe he was smoking in the lab. Like it's literally a smoke detector in there. You're in a confined space. I'm finishing out the rest of the trip with them. And please fingers crossed that the snowstorm is not that bad because it's supposed, it's supposed to be a winter storm here and in Detroit, which is where we're headed to tomorrow. So Detroit is supposed to um, be a winter storm in the morning. And here I think it's supposed to start tonight, um, but I'm trying to get back home tomorrow because our day ends at noon. So I'm trying to get back home tomorrow because I have a trip planned on Thursday and my flight leaves at 7 a.m. So I need to not have any delays. I'm not trying to stay here, like no cancellations, fingers crossed that I can make the flight home. I can't stay here. That is my day. Okay y'all, so, so I am headed downstairs to meet Jennifer so that way we can go get some food. I've been on this no makeup thing so I just kind of just like wear my natural face and stuff. And I just put on mascara today, so I don't look tired. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jay, uh, yep, that's it. Okay, our Uber's here. Oh, my God. Oh. That was bad. I didn't know that. <laughs> that would have been funny. No. Okay, no. Then I had to take you off the trip. <laughs> 
Alright, how are you? Good. Yeah. It smells nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would have definitely taken me out of the camp for sure. <laughs> that happened to me in, uh, where were we? I think we are in Oregon. We are getting, um, uh, into the... Or Redmond. Uh, Red, uh, Red, whatever it's called? No, Medford. 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 And it was so slippery, like, I was skating for, like, a good 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dinosaur barbecue. I would definitely recommend to check it out if you're here in Syracuse, how do you say it? New York. Um, the little downtown scene was cute. The restaurant, the atmosphere was cute. Um, the food was decent. I wouldn't say it was all that, but it was decent for us, you know, not having ate all day. The mac and cheese wasn't. The mac and cheese wasn't given. It it wasn't given. Yeah, we both didn't eat our mac and cheese. But the cornbread was good, the chicken was good and moist. The greens were good, we put some hot sauce on it. Oh, I tried some of her brisket and the brisket was really good too. The vibes really make up for it. So I think that's why it's such a popular place. It was like two people's birthdays. So they were um, shouting them out on the over the intercom and stuff. So it was nice we had a good time and jennifer was cool shout out to you girl i'm just going to unwind right now and get ready for bed because i know i didn't sleep last night and we have a shuttle time of 5 a.m good night and i will see y'all in the morning Because we have to hand one of these to every passenger. Um, 
but like I said, it's only a few people, so it shouldn't be too bad. Hello, everyone. We'll be leaving shortly. All large bags should be sold in an overhead bin. Please do not store laptops in seat pockets. Do not wish to perform these responsibilities. Have a hidden condition which prevents you from performing. Once you're above 10,000 feet, Wi-Fi will be available. We currently ask that you step out of the aisle to allow other customers to pass by. Thank you and welcome aboard. for my trip tomorrow and then to catch my flight home. So I am currently in Denver Airport. We finished our trip at about uh, 11.45. We got in super early. After that I had to take a COVID test which y'all saw earlier and that was at like 12 30 and then i had to try to fly to denver and then from denver to home and i'll be getting home at about 9 30 and then tomorrow morning i'm going on my trip which stay tuned for the next video and you will see where that is so i wanted to show a little bit of what i did on the plane because that's like the main thing of our job is what we do on the plane like serving the passengers and setting up the cards and stuff um well our first priority is safety obviously but our day-to-day -day stuff is dealing with the uh, dealing with the cards and setting up the stuff for the passengers so that's why i wanted to show a little bit of that and because that was like the most nerve-wracking part for me and i know like new people coming onto the line they'll probably be wanting to see like what's the actual like what are we actually doing with that i also wanted to say that once you find your flow you start to get more confident in what you're doing and you're going to make mistakes you're going to mess up but um if you're not on the aircraft i mean if you're on the aircraft or you're flying by yourself no one's going to know that you messed up except you and if you're on the aircraft with somebody else then hopefully they'll be nice enough to help you you know and most of the people that I've been with so far has been really helpful. And then you just take little bits and pieces of their method and how they do things. And then you tweak it and then you apply it to like your own way. You come up with your own way of how you like things set up and how you like your gala set up, how you like to do service. And um, all the people that I've been with so far, they show me their ways of how they do stuff. And I always tell them that I'm open to feedback um because i'm new and i'm not like stuck in one way if somebody knows a more efficient way to do something then i would like to learn from them so i always tell them like you know i'm open to feedback just have fun um i really like the actual job of it and ask questions if you need help you're going to be nervous and you're going to feel like you don't know what you're doing but allow yourself to learn allow yourself to make mistakes and uh everything that we do is really really repetitive so once you learn something is you're pretty much doing the same thing every time yeah you know, my body is aching i am so ready for this vacation but one more flight and i am home last thing i wanted to say thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers i know that's not much to other people but it really means a lot to me it really took a lot for me to just kind of put myself on a public platform and show up as my authentic self and continue to do that like i don't want to be on here pretending to be somebody i'm not this is me like 
right and i hope that you guys can see that and you know just connect with me for who i am so yeah just thank you guys for subscribing i have a lot in store from my flight attendant journey to my entrepreneurial journey my travels 